A vandal targeted supporters of the Buckhead City movement over the weekend and defaced large signs along West Paces Ferry Road supporting the de-annexation effort. Fox News Deidre Dukes joins us live in Buckhead. Deidre, you spoke with concerned residents there. That's right, uh, Tom. And residents, they discovered that vandalism on Sunday. They say that they're not just disturbed by the act itself, but by the obscene words that are now on display for all to see. And we were shocked at the profanity of it all. And furthermore, the, the criminality and the indication of trying to squelch or change people's freedom of speech. Buckhead resident Susan Cryer discovered the vandalism on Sunday. We blurred out the expletive that greeted residents and motorists along this stretch of busy West Paces Ferry Road. Someone defaced two prominent Buckhead cityhood signs, spray painting the letter F over the B in the word Buckhead. And we have neighbors here in the community that are representative of both schools of thought for and against. and. People need to have the right to be able to have the right to speak their minds. Smaller signs like these supporting the Buckhead City Hood effort weren't damaged. Although we don't know exactly who did this, I can promise you it wasn't one of our supporters. Bill White, chair and CEO of the Buckhead City Committee, the group leading the de-annexation effort, tells Fox 5 it's the second time this year one of the large signs off of Ridgewood Road has been vandalized. Um, I think that what it really says is that the folks who are against this really don't have any good ideas. They just resort to this. Uh, we welcome an honest debate, uh, but this is vandalism and it won't be tolerated. A spokesperson for the committee for United Atlanta, a group opposed to the de-annexation effort, issued a written statement in response to the vandalism, saying, quote, this was an act of vandalism and whoever engaged in it should be prosecuted. It is also wrong, however, to smear good people with false accusations just because they disagree with you. The issue of a Buckhead City is a serious one, requiring a lowering of heated emotions and thoughtful civil debate on its merits or the lack thereof. That has been our goal from the beginning and will continue to be as we move forward. We ask Bill White to do the same. Now, neighbors used spray paint to try to correct the offensive wording to cover it. They say that those uh, signs will be replaced sometime this week. In Buckhead, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News.